Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at your pain. No, no, no. <laughs> John. I, I, my wallet's, I just heard it cry. <laughs> I heard it. It started to vibrate. <laughs> Do that again. No. <laughs> I don't want to hurt too much. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Well, we found the reason why it pulls to one side. <laughs> So we're removing the kingpins here on the Cena Cruiser bus. And uh, we are starting with the, we had to remove the S cam, the slack adjuster to be able to move the S cam out of the way to get to the bolt on the bracket that holds the brake can on there so that you can get to the screws or bolts, in this case they're screws, that are on the top of the kingpin. So now that we have that little cap off, that little piece cap that goes on there. Now he's removing the cotter pin, holding the top nut in, and these are tapered key pins. This whole process is being done as a live also for our Patreons. So if you want to see the whole thing start to finish, Join Patreon. Merrick should just be laying on the ground now and uh, getting the snap ring out of the bottom. If it's even there, right? <laughs> I'm 99% sure I felt it down there. Okay. I took one for the team and started digging through the grease. Okay. This wouldn't be bad if it wasn't leaking wet and cold. It wasn't so bad before you pounded all that grease down there. <laughs> it is cold. It's 32 degrees out right now. Doesn't appear to be moving. <laughs> I need that flashlight back. So this is the bottom bushing. He pulled it out by hand before we even started taking the kingpin out. It's obviously worn through, terrible. Um, we did knock the tapered pin out. We were trying to do it with the, the baby little sled, brass hammer first, and the little baby sledge, and then just took a couple blows with the big one to get it off. Um, uh, it just basically fell right out since it started moving, but it's severely scored and it's torn up. The sleeve is out. We just got another bushing to get out and uh, the, bearing out of it. the bearing in the middle and then the seal at the top, right? Oh, is that all awesome? So there's the bearing. How's it look? It's like a bearing. <laughs> it's covered in grease. Packed full of, oh, hang on. Metal? <laughs> that is a piece of the bushing that has somehow climbed. Into the into bearing. The, yeah, that bushing goes below this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice and easy to turn. <laughs> oh, it just glides. Yeah, no, no, I can't turn the wheels on the bus. <laughs> that's not grease, that's actually cement. Yeah. <laughs> it's cast in epoxy. Oh, hang on. Yep, there's more. More chunks of the bushing. That's good. We just clean that up, reuse it. It'd be fine. Yeah. Ah, right, we'll soak it in a little croil. It'll be good to go. Just let it sit in a tub of kerosene overnight. So from Luke at US Coach, the Kingpin set for the front end for both sides, all the parts are $411, I believe, which I think that's a steal for yeah. everything you're getting. The, the I've, I've paid more than that for medium. The bearings, the seals, before. the bushings, the Kingpins, all that. Luke's a good guy at U.S. Coach, and he typically stocks all that stuff as much as he can. 
or at least you can still get a hold of the bits. Okay, so remember how I said the shims? Yeah. yeah. There's our shim pack. How many are there? Two. There's one little one and a big one. Okay. Put those one on top. You can't mess it up. That's the uh, nice thing about a tapered kingpin is it only fits on one side or the other. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could put the bearing on the top, but <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't work so good. That top bushing looks terrible. Well, it can't be as bad as the bottom one was. No, it's in one piece. So <laughs> it's, I guess you're right. It's a really good bushing. <laughs> it's ready to go. Get another million miles out of that one. I don't see what the problem is. This is just a self-adjusting camber for road conditions. You just pitch this thing into a turn. Gives it a little extra camber, gets you that great traction. This thing is a race to us. When, when the brother drove it here, he said, the steering is really wonky. Something's got to be done. <laughs> I said, I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> Probably just a loose wheel bearing. <laughs> that's my answer for everything. Because <laughs> that's usually what I find. All right, I'm going to need that uh, driver set to get those out right of here. Right here. You can see the wear inside that bushing. That's the top one, obviously. The bottom one came out in pieces, and more pieces of it actually came out with the bearing, too. That was wedged in the bearing, and the bearing doesn't really rotate. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I showed this already, but if not, the bottom bushing came out before the kingpin did. The kingpin's pretty... Pretty chewed up. I'll get in there tomorrow and check that a little bit closer. But initially it doesn't look bad. It's 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 very smooth inside there. Uh, unlike the kingpin that's obviously extremely scored and damaged. Uh, inside it doesn't look like that, which I'll know more tomorrow. I'll have the part later today for that new bushing and it's gonna see how that bushing fits in there. That'll let me know right away if it's really messed up too. But I, I don't feel anything with my fingernail in there. It feels very smooth. Um, unless it polished it out somehow, I don't think it could have because it, I think it would be scratched up just like the kingpin is. Um, again, the kingpin is very scored. It's not smooth at all. There's lines all around it. I mean, you can catch your fingernail on every single one of those little lines. Inside, I'm not getting any of that. So it looks like we're gonna get away with that not being damaged. Uh, at least at this point, that's what I'm saying. Um, still needs to be looked at a little bit closer, but uh, you know, everything I keep looking at says, hey, it's going to be okay. So let's just keep hoping that's what the truth is, and we'll see. We'll say it looks great having those things parked here. Uh, getting some work done on them. This weekend, I got two more of my friends coming by with buses. Um, so the two silver sides that we already have here, plus the 4104 and the Scenic Cruiser that's here. And then we'll have two more buses. So at one point this weekend, I'll actually have six buses here on the property at once. Uh, just visiting, so that, that'll be really cool. It's snowing again here in Tennessee. It's really just beautiful out on the property. There's some really unusual tracks out here. It looks like a rabbit track or something. I'll have to uh, review the security camera footage there. And uh, see if I see what that was. But it's just beautiful.
his tools. Check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride. In old Lenny, the silver sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. With the propped up engine door Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing Thirty years behind that barn Cause it don't run worth a darn Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing He knows in Detroit there's no doubt Upside down and inside out It's that bus grease monkey don't you know Saving buses far and wide In that old blue silver sides It's that bus grease monkey don't you know now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?